Holdacious, how's it going, Bob? So tonight on the Brave New World Rust server, we have a raid that is about to commence. We have a group of five or so raiders heading towards this big old fortress you see here. They are making their way over to it, and I do believe, in fact, they are going to raid it, and we will see what hell breaks loose. I do not know if the people who own this home are home or online. I'm not sure. They might all be asleep. But it appears we are already starting to raid. They are already working their way in. These raiders are quick and they get right to the point. Everybody's getting on the block and I can only assume they're going to build their way in. I guess the people who built this fortress do not have cabinets along this wall or at least in this area. It appears we have some miscommunication. Maybe a rookie on the team. Take number two, here we go. The raiders are making their way over the wall and inside the compound we have at this fortress. They are inside and they're scattering around looking uh, at their surroundings and probably trying to find their best way in. It appears we already have a man dead inside. I'm not sure if that's a homeowner or some naked who managed to make his way inside the base and just killed himself. But it appears our, our raiders are scouting around looking for a way in. It appears we have a door here, but they go in and out of each one of these hallways and come right back out. I can only assume it's a dead end. There is a man outside of the fortress. He is not one of the raiders, and I am unsure whether or not he is one of the homeowners of this fortress, possibly trying to defend his base or some stranger. And one of the raiders stayed on the bridge to do overwatch duty, to defend his men inside, make sure that they are safe and sound. He's doing a good job, and oh, oh wow! The, the stranger just took a bullet to the face. Down he goes. His name is Swamp Chicken. Poor guy, just, just took a headshot. Uh, bravo to the raider uh, defending the bridge uh, swamp chicken I'm not sure if he's the one who lives here or just some stranger but the overwatch guy did a good job now back to the rest of the raiders I am unsure what they're doing they are still looking around they're going through the walls they're heading up to the second level I can only assume they are looking for the best way to break into this base the raiders have found one of the tool cabinets uh, they're going to jump across one of them made it good they're going to gain access to it, possibly, or try to destroy it, maybe. But if they gain access, they could build up. But there's still probably a tool cabinet inside of the main base. So I'm wondering how much leverage this tool cabinet here will give the raiders if uh, the tool cabinet inside counteracts this one. So I really wonder how close can they get to the base and possibly build on top and get inside. All the raiders have grouped up and are now breaking down a wall to another tool cabinet, I believe. They want to try to get in a better spot and build up and possibly get on top of the base. The one by one containing the tool cabinet has been broken into. They've gained access to it and now they are looking for the best place to put down a foundation to possibly build a raid tower to get on top of the fortress here, on top of this base, see which is the best entry point you know the best place to break into maybe there's a door up there that leads down into it I'm not sure it, there may there's a man in the distance on the wall he is not one of the raiders they are shooting at him they're taking him down he's trying to escape and he's just got gunned down after he opened up the door his name is Carr the raiders are gathering around him and he's just got executed okay so the raiders have built up their tower they it, it's almost right up to the wall so they should have no problem getting over that wall getting on top of the roof and really seeing what's up there now they are all making their way across the bridge they are about to jump and it appears there is an armored storage room possibly maybe not a storage room we will see what's inside there might not be much because it has twig ceilings I doubt there'll be anything inside there is not a single thing so this base right here this fortress is a work in progress people are still working on this so there might not be much except for this elevator shaft here which is weird okay so there is more gunfire down from where the last man died there's a man inside firing upon these raiders the raiders are firing back He's closed the door to protect himself. What is his name? It is Carr. Carr has returned. He has a, a Thompson. And he is ready to take on the Raiders. But the poor guy is, is all by himself. There's five Raiders. Carr is all alone. And here comes the Raider now to uh, fight him and kill him. Oh, it appears Carr has bled out from the previous bullets. As That's horrible. Okay, so C4 just went off. I am unsure what what just happened here. Did the Raiders possibly get inside of the base? 
Maybe they fell down the elevator shaft and they're now stuck inside of the base. So either that was poor base design or it was actually pretty smart because now you have the raiders stuck down there. Now they have to break their way out. The raiders have now broken down the stone wall. They are now free. There appears to be a armored wall behind them. That might lead to some sort of room. Maybe a furnace room. Maybe a loot room. Who knows? But they, the raiders are scattered deciding the next move. It seems like another raider is stuck in one of the holes inside of this base. Providencia is stuck down here. I'm unsure whether it's intended to jump. There's, there's more gunfire. I must investigate. No, oh, it appears one of the raiders have gotten inside of the base. This looks like a loot room. So someone from the inside opened the door expecting to kill one of the raiders. But the raider got him before he could close the door and now he's in. He's in the loot room. Good job, Nivex. And we still have one of the raiders stuck in the hole. Nivex is going through all the loot. He is in the loot room. There are probably other loot rooms. There might be one loot room in that armored room we see here in the middle of this room. Providencia is still breaking down that wall, trying to escape. It appears others have joined him in helping him escape from this base. That's either poorly designed or really smart because it keeps trapping these guys. And here we have the loot room that I was expecting. We have two men sleeping here. They might never wake up from it. We now have three men helping Providencia to escape. The wall is almost broken down and they are now free again. They are all going to rush the loot room now because they have access to it and they're going to make sure they grab whatever they can. And there still is one more loot room in that, that room right there, but they do not know that. I am just a spectator here. Man has a bow. I'm unsure. He just shot the wall. Maybe he's letting his other members know where the C4 should be placed so it could break the ceilings and the wall to maximize destruction. There are, there are footsteps outside. Maybe someone coming home to help defend. There's someone entering the base right now. The raiders are getting ready. The fire, gunfire. Someone was at the door. He's most likely dead. Turned to switch cheese. It was Carr again. This poor guy keeps coming back to defend his home. C4 has been thrown. The Raiders are trying to get into the core loot room right here. One C4 at a time. There are loot bags over there in the corner. Possibly some of the chests inside broke. We have more gunfire. Uh, maybe some of the homeowners are coming back to get rid of the Raiders. Or maybe some strangers. They hear the C4 and they come to it hoping to... Uh, possibly pop the raiders in the back while they are distracted but they're these raiders right here are so well organized they have men guarding different areas and the loot room has been broken into i wonder what lies inside what lies inside of those chests what loot these raiders will find and we have to wait for all this clutter to clear up all this smoke it, this whole room is filled there are bags all over the ground raiders going through the chest so many furnaces and there is a second floor with loot on it that was an unexpected surprise these raiders even have more loot to go through that's why you want to break down ceilings as well because there might be something on the next level that you have no idea these raiders are scrambling to gather up all of the bag loot on the ground so they don't disappear i'm going to investigate the shooting out here there's definitely been a lot of shooting been going on. It appears we have one of the raiders attacking, shooting uh, naked. The naked man had a gun, and he goes for the execution. The raiders are still going through the loot, going through the chest, seeing what they want, seeing what is valued the most, because they're probably running out of inventory. They are looting the second floor. There's probably a lot of loot to go through. I'm going to investigate where those gun shots are coming from. We have... Two of the raiders right here shooting out twig ceilings to this circular part of the base. I don't think there's going to be much in here, to be quite honest. We have one of the raiders here guarding the door. I bet paranoia is starting to kick in. You know, we have people constantly coming back, trying to win the house over. And it's good to have someone on watch. These raiders are very smart. We have a house owner entering from the back, trying to flank the raiders, trying to catch them off guard, but opening up that door many times is probably going to give away his position. I hear the raiders leaving behind me, but I'm wondering if this guy is going to make a strike. The house owner is ready to defend his base to face the raiders, but it might be too late because the raiders have already grabbed all the loot they can and are already on the move, heading out, getting far away from this base as possible. The Raiders are making their way home with pockets full of AKs and arms full of gunpowders. That was a pretty cool raid. They managed to get through both loot rooms. They had a little bit of a gunfight with the homeowners and 
I, I feel bad for those guys back at home. There wasn't enough people online to defend the base. There were some sleepers. That car guy, props to him. He was dedicated. He was persistent. He was not going to let his home given up that easy. So, that's the end of the raid, guys. I hope you like these new camera raid series. My good buddy Fatal made one. We plan on making a few of these now and then. So, I hope you really enjoyed this. This is fresh and new to Russ. That's the fortress right down there. And thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, have a fantastic day. I don't know that I will. And I will see you guys later. Oh, he's got, he's got a spear. Okay. 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 So, this is how you survive your first day, kids. Alright, you find someone who has more stuff than you, and then you go up to him, and then you smack him over the head with a rock. Blood is spewing everywhere. Oh, dude's running away, he's coming back. He's thrust right to the face. Quack, quack.